Hi everybody, it's Hope from HopeYoder.com with a Craft and Cut Fundamental video. So this is video two in the Fundamental series and we'll be working with design pages. So let's go to the Craft and Cut program. So when you open the program, you'll see this support page. You can close this out for now and we're going to open a new page. So here's a brand new page. Now let me just go over some different things uh, to know about when you're working with a new design page. You can have multiple designs open, but before we get into that, let's talk about this grid area. You can work with it on or you can work with it off. Right now, we'll leave it on. I'll show you in a few moments how to change the grid so that you get the spacing that you want to design with. This next icon is your cutting mat and you can have it on, notice with the grid, or off. Now, if you travel over into the properties window of your cutting mat, you have some predetermined sizes of mats that you may be working with. In the drop down menu, you have the artistic edge 12 by 12 or by 24, the 15 by 15, 15 by 30, and here are your different sizes of mats. Now, if you're using a different digital cutter than listed here, you can select custom and design um, the millimeters or the inches that you would like. If you want to work in um, inches, simply select uh, this tool area, right click and show inches. And now when you add custom, you can put your own custom inches for the mat that you'd be working with. You can also set the page size. So for instance, if we work with a 12 by 24 and hit apply, here's our um, mat. And then if we want to work with a page that's different than the mat, for instance, we have a piece of vinyl that maybe is 12 by 15, uh, we can change that as well. Whoops. Let me get the toolbar back. If that happens, you can just come under toolbar and we'll show our properties again. So let's try that one more time. And so now you can see what's happened to our mat is we have the 12 by 24 mat, but maybe the material or the fabric or whatever I'm laying and sticking to my mat is a shorter size in the mat. It's easy to control that there. If you'd like to work in landscape, you've got this uh, option as well. And to show the cut borders, so the cut border is red and let me zoom in to show you that red mark is your cut border and if I deselect that it goes away so that just gives you uh, more visibility so I would work with the show cut borders on now we can hide our mat if we prefer to work with or without the mat um, let's go ahead and show you how to change some of the settings. So I've already shown you by clicking in this area, you're now in inches, but I can right click and I can actually work in millimeters. I can also right click and go to my grid settings. I can find them here or I could go under my tools, scroll down to preferences and also get in the same place. So under preferences, your machine format. So if your embroidery machine, if you're working on a Janome, you would select Jeff. If you're working on a brother or a baby lock, you would uh, select PES and hit OK. Let's go back to preferences. You see how that saved it to PES. Now, We've got some uh, different colors and design palettes. So for instance, if you're working 
with um, Floriani Poly, uh, you can select this so that when you open a design, it automatically tries to match with the Floriani um, polyester thread. Let's go back to preferences. Now you've got your environment, and this is metric or inches, and I've also shown you how you can right click in the toolbar. Um, you have auto save and you have to turn that off or five minutes is the default. The image editing program, I would leave this as MS Paint because I have tutorials on the Craft and Cut page to show you how to create your own logo. Language, um, and then you've got your view. Now highlighting is in blue. Let me close off and show you what I mean by that. So if I select a custom shape, and I want to highlight over it, I can change that. And let's just do uh, something fun like pink. And so now when I select on this, um, let's see, let's open a design to show you. We'll open this design and over in this window, when I select something, now it's pink. Where the default was blue. And that's just for your own personal fun. So you can customize and express yourself with color. Let's go back under preferences again. So that was your view. And now you have different grid marks. So the grid um, let's turn the grid on and we'll cancel this out and let's turn a grid on and go back to preferences and grid. Now I have mine set at 10 millimeters. I work in millimeters and most of you uh, probably work in inches. So if you wanted um, the grid, let's go back to environment. I'm in metric. So let's go back to inches. And now let's go to the grid. So if you want, notice the grid is in inches instead of millimeters. So if you want your grid to be every inch, all you have to do is just change it to whatever um, you're used to working at. That would be the spacing, the horizontal and vertical lines. So if I want everything to be at an inch, I can select that. If I want my grid lines uh, to be a different color, this is where you would change those. We're going to leave them as is. I can show the grid as a solid line. I have mine as a dashed line, but you can also show it as a solid. The choice is yours, or as dots. Snap to grid we'll talk about in a later video. So if you have all the changes that you want, touch OK, and look what happens to my grid now. Um, the lines got much larger. So we have one uh, embroidery design open in a page. Um, let's open another page. And here are your design tabs. So you can have multiple pages open. And if you want to go back to a page, let's look at the Hope Yoder library and type in, uh, put this anchor. Here I have an embroidery design. And uh, let's delete this and open a new page and we'll go back into the Hope Yoder library and if I wanted to work with um, this rubber ducky we'll put this in here. So to go back and forth from different pages um, for instance if I wanted this duck there are my layers if I wanted uh, this round circle um, or this duck bill or the outline of the duck, I can select the duck, right click, copy, go to this design page and paste the duck in this area if I wanted to. And that's why you might want to work with multiple design pages. So I've shown you the grid on or the grid off. I've shown you the mat, and I like to work with the mat with the grid off. We've shown you how to change from millimeters to inches by right clicking here 
or going to the preferences to change your different options. Let's show you one more thing. So this is our background color. So let me turn this mat off and left click on the background. Right now my background is white. So if I click on color and I want to change my background to pink, I can work in pink. Now this would be helpful if you had wanted to make heat transfer vinyl and put it on a pink t-shirt. So this might be really helpful to change the color of your background. Here is 3D view. So you can look at this as uh, 3D. So let's select all items and select 3D. Now that's not going to change much because it's just artwork. And you know it's artwork by clicking and opening or expanding the layers. But if we go to my embroidery design, let me turn the grid off and I'm on 3D. Let me change this last color to something different. So here is me looking at my design not being 3D versus 3D. So you have the option to change this as you want. Now if we go back to our background color, you can also change the pattern. So with patterns, you have fill patterns. Um, you've got all of these different patterns. So for instance, if you wanted to work with glitter heat transfer vinyl, notice how I can do different pages with different patterns as well. So if I knew in my um, box of materials, I had Let's find something interesting here. Gray leather, oh, a lot of nice colors, but you can also import your own colors. So here's white mesh, which would be like English cotton netting or bobinet or tulle. Perfect. So now I can see um, what I want that to look like. Now to get rid of this background, select color, and go back to white and OK and you're back to your default. So these are just some ways to work with different design pages. Grid on off, showing the mat, bringing in embroidery designs. I hope this helps you navigate the Craft & Cut software a little bit better and that you've enjoyed the fundamental video number two.